How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Sasha Baron Cohen and his new show, Who Is America? Now, if you don't know who he is, he has been gone for a very long time. As far as I know, he was around when I was in high school, and I'll be 34 this year, so that pretty much lets you know how long ago this was. But he had this show called Ali G. I suppose he's a comedian. He pranks people. He also had this movie called Borat. I don't really know what was going on with Borat. If he was trying to be funny, I never found this guy funny. I never really got into it. It was just kind of weird. It's kind of like the uh, the show with the guy Andre. I forget his last name, but just really weird and cringy type of stuff. His main claim to fame is the ability to go on the cover and prank people. He has resurfaced and pranked Sarah Palin into believing that he was a disabled veteran. And he's also pranked some Republicans into talking about arming small children on camera to prevent from school shootings, right? Um, I think you had Joe Walsh and Trent Lott. And by the way, these guys are not in office anymore. I don't think I saw anybody that's in office get on camera and say this, but he was able to convince them to get on camera and talk about arming small children. You know, we're talking about four years old, five years old to prevent against school shootings in school. Now, <laughs> I saw this people are making jokes they're cracking up laughing about it but my thing is is it really that far from reality is there no precedent for it is it totally absurd and the answer to that is no first of all kids are not just totally dumb they are able to understand certain things they're, they're able to understand gun safety when I was a kid I knew about gun safety I saw my first real gun when I was about four or five years old and I saw it in a particular part of a house I don't want to get too deep into it talk about a lot of details but basically I knew I shouldn't touch it stay away from it don't really get in there and do anything with it when I got to be about eight or nine maybe ten years old probably right around nine I would say I went to a farm and shot my first rifle okay it was a big rifle man you know I was a pretty big kid but this rifle man it felt like I tore my shoulder off <laughs> but you know I had adult supervision it was this whole thing it was set up it wasn't like i was just out there just shooting guns randomly you're able to be instructed about firearms from a young age i also had a bb gun it was a pretty big gun it resembled like like a, a nine millimeter it had a rack slide and everything that you could pour bbs into it it looked like a real gun no orange tip and i was taught at that age be responsible don't take it outside and wave it around i was only able to bring it to my uncle's house and go out in the backyard and shoot pots so i was familiar with firearms at a very young age and it wasn't even like i was really immersed in it like some kids are you got some kids you could look on youtube and see videos and i placed a few of those in the box below where these kids know all about guns they know how to reload quickly they know about caliber sizes of ammunition they know what kind of guns they're using. They know about gun safety. These kids are very sharp. So when you see this clip floating around and you say that it's absurd, just know that there is a precedent for it. And also let's talk about the Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts. Cub Scouts first. And the Cub Scouts, which is ages seven through 10, or pardon me, I think it's actually first grade through the fifth grade, but the gun program I'm talking about might be ages seven through 10. They're able to get taught how to use BB guns, bow and arrow archery, of course, and also slingshot. They know about that in elementary school. So they're already just getting prepared and comfortable with being able to shoot targets, being able to handle weapons, those kind of things in elementary school, small kids. All right. Once you get to Boy Scouts, which is ages 10 through 14, maybe even 14 and above, depends on what the situation is. Now you're able to learn about shotgun and rifle, okay? So you're talking about kids that could be in fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, learning about shotgun and rifle. So when you got Tasha Baron Cohen talking about, oh, well, we want to arm kids that are 16 and below. I mean, you got kids that are in Cub Scouts right now, perfectly legal with parental consent, learning about firearms, okay? So it's not really that big of a stretch to say that you could arm kids in school or allow kids to have access to arms in school. Do I think we should have kids with holsters and pistols right there in the class? No, I think you could have a system where kids that are trained to 
handle firearms, would be able to handle them in an emergency situation. Let's say in each class, there's some type of um, wall or some kind of safe that has a gun or two inside and it can only be opened from a master key in a central location like in the office. So prime example, you have an intruder, okay? The person in the center part of the school pushes the button and then the guns are now able to be accessed by whoever needs to access them, a teacher or a student or whatever. Now they're able to defend themselves. I mean, it's possible only for kids that are able to actually handle the guns. Now, some people would say, oh, of course, you're going to have accidents. People are not going to really be able to know what to do. They're panicking. I mean, give kids some credit. They might be able to handle that situation. There could be an accident, but I think that you would have much more of a success rate knowing that there are guns available to people who know how to use them versus having these children be totally unprotected. Right. That's just me. So I know this is going to be kind of controversial to say, but nah, you should be able to allow kids to have access to firearms in dangerous situations. And you should most certainly allow children to be trained in firearms. I mean, we already do that right now. You have parents that homeschool their children, that train them about firearms. You can go to Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts. They train kids about firearms. You can go to private instructors to do the same thing. So it's not really this unheard of thing. And Sasha Baron Cohen was trying to make it be absurd to push gun control. And I'll explain to you why. He was trying to say 16 to 4 or, you know, from 16 on down to 4. See, see he's saying it in a way that encapsulates like your whole childhood. There's a big difference between a four-year-old who's not even in school yet to a 16-year-old who's about to graduate and go to college. You know, I graduated at age 17. You can actually go to the military at age 17. So you're talking about one year away from military age and being able to use a weapon legally and defend yourself and defend your country. I mean, depending upon where you live, you're able to actually open carry at age 16. In Alaska, you're able to do that because a lot of kids, they go out with their parents, they go hunting and fishing. So you can have a rifle and shoot a deer and uh, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. That's not uncommon for kids to go do these activities. But to people like Sasha Baron Cohen, who I don't think is even American, he doesn't understand America. They don't really understand what's going on. So that's why I don't like people like John Oliver, Sasha Baron Cohen, all these people. You know, you get people from Israel, people from... Uh, UK talking about American issues and then they're trying to lampoon it and make people look to be ridiculous and stupid when they don't even understand the whole situation or the context of culture okay you don't have a bunch of accidents with kids who are trained with guns operating firearms you don't really hear about that too much with kids that understand firearms you might have a child that finds a gun and then plays with it not knowing what it is but a child that's been trained to look at a thing as dangerous as a tool as not to be played with they're not really just going to go touch it and play with it and just hurt people that's not going to happen the majority of the time the same way it's not going to happen the majority of the time with the adults so what do you think do you think that it's a good idea to consider allowing kids to have access to firearms in school like I said, should kids be able to just uh, strap a pistol to their waist or a rifle to their back? Obviously not. But have it be a control situation where you have kids at least prepared to deal with firearms. I mean, we already train kids how to hide and run away from a mass shooter. Why not allow kids to be trained? And like I said, we already do that right now. We do it now. There's no outcry about that. But because Sasha Baron Cohen is somewhat no not really that popular of a person not since like the late 90s or early 2000s but he is still a little bit popular enough to have a show people see him making the mockery out of people talking about army kids they don't understand what's really going on this is why i'm doing this video to give you a different view you have cub scouts that train kids with weapons boy scouts that train kids ages 10 through 14 you're talking about fifth graders in elementary school they train them on rifle and shotgun it used to be a time where you had gun clubs in school where the kids would go with their rifle and shoot targets uh you might you could drive to school once you get to be of age with your shotgun right there on the back of your truck in the window it wasn't really that big of a deal 
just that culture changes, people change, and you can't do that anymore. But it was a point in time where that was okay. It was a point in time where, you know, you can go out there with your grandpa and you could shoot deer, squirrel, rabbit, whatever, bring it home and cook it. And it wasn't that big of a deal when you were like eight, nine, 10 years old, right? It was a rite of passage, just like me when I got to be like nine years old it took me out to the farm and let me shoot a rifle and then i was given the bb gun and then i was trained before all of that i was told to have gun awareness and gun safety okay i think that as i close that gun awareness and gun safety should be taught at a very early age just to keep kids safe even if you don't think that kids should have access to firearms but whatever your comments are please let me know in the comments below and that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.